Hey everybody, um, it's me. Um, I just have a small haul to share and then I've got a layout share as well. I have a few layouts that I haven't shared with you all that I wanted to share. So um, I'm just going to get started. I did an order with uh, Crafty Steels. They had washi tape uh, for three rolls for $4.99 and they were from Craft Basics. So I think it was $3.99 $4.99. Anyway, it was a really good deal. So I picked up um, a few packages of that. So this is like the gray black package. So I got this roll. It was rolls of three for $4.99. And I never ordered from Crafty Steels before because um, the uh, shipping charges for Canada are pretty pricey. But I always had ordered, tried to, sorry, order paper packs and this time I didn't order paper so the, uh, the shipping was a little bit more reasonable. I'm not paying $27 for shipping or whatever, like two piece charges. Anyway, so that's the black uh, set. And then this is, um, if I can get it to peel, this is the red. So this one says, Live, Laugh, Love. I liked that. I thought it was cute. And then I came with a red um, and white polka dot. And a red and white stripe. And then um, I got a green set, just real good basic uh, washi. So that's uh, white with the green polka dot and then, I'm not going to open it, but the green with the white polka dot and then the green with the white stripes. And then I got a navy or a blue set. So I got, it has the chevron. The blue with the polka dots. And it's got two different colors of polka dots in that one. Sorry if this will focus. And um, the blue with the white squiggle. Is it going to focus on it? The blue with the white squiggle line. So I got those. And then I picked up a couple of Scrapbook Trends magazines. So I got the, this is the June issue. So I picked that up. And I picked up the... Uh, July issue and um, this magazine is expensive it's like $15 surprisingly enough it's the same price in the US and Canada because normally we pay like a dollar to a dollar fifty more for a magazine in Canada even though our um, dollar is not that far off from in value so anyway I picked these up because they sell them for basically half price on um, crafty crafty steels and they always have really great layouts and ideas in them so I picked those up. Then I picked up from um, Marcy Penner. She's a garden girl and she has a little shop um, called Hello Forever and she sells she sells uh, tags and she sells um, buttons and she sells some digital downloads and stuff for Project Life. Anyway, she's a fabulous scrapbooker and she had some great buttons on her or badges, whatever you refer to them as, on her shop. So I picked up two sets of these. So I'll show you what I got. Um, these one, this one is was one set. I'll show you all the pieces. So this says hi. They're all like word bubbles. This one says rad. Hey. An arrow. The heart and the asterisk. So I got two sets of that and then I got two sets of these ones. I forget what she called these ones. Um, but this one says today, tomorrow, Instagram, love you. Here and here now, snapshots, 
and every day. Um, her stuff's included in the Studio Calico sets a lot, and I really like her badges. So I picked those up um, as well. So that's it for haul. I have a couple of orders. I placed an order with um, Mrs. McCabe's Scraps, Alex. She has she sells buttons on Etsy, and she's got some really cute ones. So I placed an order with her, and then I also placed an order with um, buttons and badges. <laughs> Craft and Kate just showed um, her her button and badge um, order, and I loved those scrapbooking ones. And then and now buttons and badges has also one where you can just buy twenty five and you pick which twenty five you want. So I did an order with them. So I'm gonna have a whack load of buttons now. Okay, on to my layouts. So this is my first layout. Um, I'm trying to think how we can, sorry, so you can see it better. Anyway, it's called Jello Time, and uh, I used my June Studio, Studio Calico kit to make this layout, I think. If I do, so you can kind of see it there, and then I'll show you the details. Sorry. Um, so I used pretty much the, uh, everything on here is from the kit. I did, uh, it's my son at daycare. He was doing, they do like sensory and their sensory that day was with uh jello. They do it with sense like shaving cream and jello and pudding and, um, cheery, like just Cheerios, whatever beans. It's just like fun stuff. Kids love playing and mushing in that stuff. So I use the thickers that came in the kit here for Jell-O, and then those are those exclusive Cosmo Cricut um, alphas, kind of like the October afternoon mini markets. Um, this was a Studio Calico wood veneer aster, oh, sorry, wood veneer asterisk here, and then the basic gray. Where am I here? The basic gray clip and a couple of those twinkle goosebumps. And then um, this is the Heidi Swap uh, borders that came in the kit. And then I used my border punch here. And then these arrows, or I stamped those are the arrows that came in the main kit. I used some wood grain. I did some stitching as well. And then this is the Heidi Swap um, banner uh, that also came in the kit. And this is an October afternoon journaling spot. Another wood asterisk that I stamped on and then this was um where am I here this was the wood this was one of the stamps that I just stamped out and then down here I just did a cluster of embellishments these are some of the die cuts that came in it and a prima wood ticket and another asterisk and some washi down here so that's when layout jello time then Uh, there's this one. So this one's called A Helping Hand. And I think this is just a mishmash as a bunch of different um, kits and whatever. I don't think I used anything specific in here. Anyway, um, I used those Heidi Swap Ghost Alphas and just put some wood grain behind them and then stitched through each of them. And then this is from Easter. This picture was taken. This is my nephew, my oldest nephew, and this is my son James. And my oldest son, my oldest nephew helped James during the Easter egg hunt. So I did a bunch of flags here. Flags here of different paper. I stitched um, some paper clips. I did some stitching here. A bunch of different buttons and circles. I kind of repeated like a circle theme across the bottom. And just did some layering and stuff. And then I did some stitching in this corner too to just kind of frame it. And that's that one. And then I have this one, which is just called Curious Boy. And I did some confetti. So you can see that. Um, so this is one of the stitch tags that I made myself. It says, say what? And this is a picture of my son who loves to get close to the camera and my phones. He's obsessed with them. And so it's hard to take a picture of him because as soon as he sees the camera, he starts walking towards you. Anyway, I um, just did some twine. I 
cut some pictures out of the, that's an Echo Park paper. Um, this is a repeating stamp from the circles from a Studio Calico kit and did some um, misting and sprinkling here. That's it, just kind of uh, added. This is a Heidi Swap memory file here, this thing here. So that is that one. Then this one is called Tech Savvy Kids. And this is an Instagram I took of my kids one morning. My daughter is on the iPad. My son is on the iPod, a touch. And uh, they're both really... Well, my son, I mean, he just kind of likes to sh move the screens, but my daughter pretty much has the them down pat. So I did, um, um, I just layered this paper bag, another piece of the Heidi Swap um, memory file behind. And this is, um, this is a Michael's dollar stamp that says, stamp that says Chillax. And then this little cluster here is a couple of circles. Um, this is a Heidi Swap memory file too that I cut a circle out of and it was one of those resist ones. So I um, colored it with a teal, I think that's a Prima ink, so that kind of coordinated. And then I stitched through my lettering. These are both thickers and then these are those Heidi Swap um, mistable ones too. And I stitched through those and then this is the Plano stamp that I stamped in behind from Studio Calico. And then up here, I just cut out some of that honeycomb paper. I used some of those mistable um, honeycombs from Studio Calico Kit. This is a tag that I put washi around and then put the camera. It's a wood veneer camera. And then I just used, these are um, from an old Sassafras sticker sheet, all these stickers that coordinated well with the layout. So I added those in and then I just did some stitching on the corners and stuff of this layout. Um, I don't know, I have a really hard time using these hexagons. I thought I was gonna love them and I really struggle with them. I don't know why. So I haven't bought any of the other mystical, mystical products from Studio Calico because I'm struggling with these ones. I don't know what to do with them. I don't know. Anyway, that's that layout. And then this one, I just did with the June, I think this is from the June Studio Calico kit. This is a picture of my daughter. And um, this picture cracks me up. My daughter's six years old, but she looks like this expression. I tweet, I posted this picture on Facebook because this is totally the expression I'm gonna get when she's 15 years old and I'm just totally annoying her. But I got it when she was five. So I titled this one, um, Growing Up Too Fast. And uh, there's an overview of the layout. And most of everything in this kit is again from my Studio Calico kit. So um, I used a gray back cardstock and then I used this pink one and layered it in. And then this is from Crepe Paper Pretty Party. This is I think a Studio Calico exclusive, this yellow chevron. And then this one I think is from Echo Park. And I just used some of the ta die cut tabs up here and stapled them with my tiny attacher. And then I did stitching around the frame and then tied some of the um, twine. And I used this sticker that says, you are my favorite person. And then here, this is, um, I saw Christina Werner do this for a card in one of her videos. And it's a bunch of little hearts um, punched out and then you do circles with them and it makes a flower. And I thought it was really cute. So I did that. This is a basic gray paper clip. And um, this is the uh, one of the, what is this, Prima? I think that's Prima. And then I put my journaling in one of the glassine envelopes that the badges came in from the kit, um, just to kind of soften the writing. I thought um, the writing alone looked too harsh, so I so used that to soften. Then um, I used some of the Dear Lizzie Vellum. I did the doily, Martha Stewart Doily Punch. And then I stitched along here. And then those are some of the butterflies that came in the kit. And I used some brads. Those are, those are from older kits that coordinated. And then these are some My Mind's Eye little chipboard flags. And then this is the lace tape that came in the kit that I really like. It's really pretty. And then I just used some washi in the corner here. So that is um, that layout. So that's everything today. Um, 
I plan on doing some scrapping. I'm going to start my project life because June is over and I can get June done. I'm not doing a traditional product project life where they like I do two pages per week. I'm doing two pages per month because I think that's kind of more achievable for me. And I just, I can't take pictures every day. I don't, I don't have the time nor the patience. Work's kind of crazy right now. So, um, but when, you know, there's something going on, I'll do it. And that way I think I can do two pages per month. And then if something special goes on, I can, you know, I'll make it longer. We had a big family reunion um, with my maternal grandmother's side of the family and there was over 350 people there so we have some great pictures from that of the family tree that they did and um so I'm looking forward to kind of project lifing that whole thing and that'll probably be a couple pages in itself and then um just for the family reunion but I'm not going to be any strict to it it's kind of whatever I want to do I'm going to do because I know it's really hard to stick to if you do the two weeks um two paid layouts per week so um as soon as I get some of that done, I'll share it because uh, this is the first time doing it. So hopefully, and that's why I kind of ordered a bunch of these badges because I kind of like these for Project Life. I think they're, they're really cute. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great one. Bye.